Hello. I wonder if I'll ever start, I wonder if I'll ever do a video where I don't at least like sing one word. This is gonna be how I get ready. Okay, stop, this is being ridiculous now. Um, I actually was just lying on the couch for about an hour with a super bad headache and then I was like, oh my God, let's film a video. And now suddenly my headache's gone. So you could say that you guys are like my medicine. <laughs> really see my nipple piercing. I'm just gonna bunch that up. You, I have been running in all day and I've got dinner tonight. Um, but dinner's at 5.45, which is just like such an early time. Like, you know me, I like to be in bed early, but like, I like dinner at like seven. I've been trying, I've been calling them all day. I've been refreshing the website, trying to get in later, but they're booked. It is three, so I only really have to start getting ready for like an hour, but because I'm filming, maybe I'll start getting ready now because like, I blabber. But I'm going to show you how I transform from my normal day to day to nighttime dinner look. Um, I got my hair done today. I just got it like washed and blow dried like I do every week. Cute. Um, I'm just going to do like kind of simple makeup. Like, I don't know. I kind of want to do, I don't know. We'll see. I mind I'm doing cake face. I think like cake face, but like freckly and like glowy is the goal. I actually still do have a really bad headache, so I'm going to go take some Nurofen. I have to figure out what to wear, and I need to have a shower, because I don't smell the best. Um, which is not a very good impression. So, I'm going to shower, then do my makeup, then figure out what to wear. I'm probably going to have a major breakdown. I just want to go to dinner when it's dark. Like, it's not going to be dark, because I doesn't get dark till like, 6.37 now. Like, I don't want to go to dinner in the afternoon. I'm going to check the website one more time. The key to success is chocolate. Now... I just had some Nurofen's advance, so I need to eat because you can't take it on an empty stomach, but scary free chocolate is so good. So, mm, this dinner's at like kind of a fancy restaurant, so I go dress kind of fancy, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna wear my basic white girl uniform, which is black leather-waisted pants, corset, bolero, and heels. Maybe I'll wear maybe I'll wear sneakers. Maybe I'll wear heels. We'll see. But um, I don't really want to get start getting ready too early. Let me check what time it is. It's three now. I have to go pick this motherfucker up before dinner. Like on the way. So let me just do let me just math for a sec. I have to leave here at five. I have to leave here at five. So ideally I want to be ready by 4 30. So I can just like chill, make some TikToks, take some selfies, make sure I'm fully ready. I'm gonna be ready by 4.30. So you start getting ready at 3.30 and it's three. Perfect, half an hour early, doesn't even matter. Okay, I'm gonna go shower, um, drink some water, try and get rid of this headache and I'm gonna come back when I, I would take you in the shower with me, but you know. Okay, just had a shower. Tried to obviously not get my hair wet, um, but sometimes the back of it gets a bit wet. Um, and then I think we're first going to figure out, because I want my makeup to be as fresh as possible, obviously. So I don't want to do my makeup too early. So I think I'm going to try and figure out what I'm going to wear first, because then also that'll like calm my nerves, because I'm stressed about that. Obviously, I'm going to put my eye drops in, because I, if you've been on me, if you know me and you follow me on anything, which if you follow me, you'll know, because I'm brain about it 24-7. I have been having like a really leaky eye. And um, it just won't stop leaking. And obviously, like, today it hasn't been leaking. But I bet you as soon as I start doing my makeup, it'll start leaking. And I was given these eye drops by the chemist to use four times a day. And I don't. And that's probably why it hasn't been fixed. So I've been trying to stay on top of it. But they're just really annoying to take. And also, the thing that pisses me off about taking them is they go all over my eyelash extensions. And then my eyelash, eyelash extensions go crusty. Because I don't have, like, shampoo for my eyelash extensions, which I probably should get up. But I don't know where to get it. Okay, I love this outfit. Well, I love this corset, right? From Are You Mine? But I don't know if it's too, like, I'm going to work a cook out with the black pants. But then I have, like, green heels, so I feel like that makes it fun. I don't know, you can't see. Let me show you full length. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, I don't like that. That doesn't work at all, thanks for telling me. Um, the heels. But I definitely like this corset. I feel confident in this corset. 
and which is very rare. Like I feel like it's cute, but it's sexy, but I don't know. I just feel like it's too much black. Only bad thing about this corset actually is that if you follow me, you'll know about the um, nipple piercing dilemma. And the issue we have with the nipple piercing um, is this really like hurts, like touches the nipple piercing. But beauty is pain. And I'm willing to take that risk. Am I? I don't know. Um, but let's try. I really like these pants though. They're really flattering. But let's try nude pants. Okay, so I have nude. But then I also have green, which is like a bit casual. So I might dress it down. Or I've got like beige. And these are so flattering. They're from Madison Grace. So let's go to the full length mirror and try these on. Okay, this is the corset and the beige pants. I really like this, but I think I want to untuck the corset because it just gives me a more, see, it's so much more flattering. But I don't know about these pants. I don't know if this is too, like, still, like, I'm going to work. Okay, I figured out what I'm wearing. It's super basic, so I'm kind of, like, mm, still up in the air, but I feel cute in it, and I want to feel cute. I don't want to have to be, like, constantly adjusting and, like, feeling gross because who wants that at dinner? Um, so I'm going to start doing my makeup is that background noise too loud might close the window um i still don't like the fact that dinner is so early but like we move you know i've got a big weekend so i probably should be in bed fairly early maybe i'll get yochi after probably will to be honest okay something's pulling okay now my hair is I'm not gonna get stuff in it hopefully i need to remember to not use that as a camera I've got the aircon on, so that's probably what you can hear if it's a bit loud. But I'm going to start with that. It's probably going to be a long video because I'm not really going to cut much out. I'm literally just going to chat with you and just keep it real, you know? Um, I'm going to start with my brows. And I've been really loving this 24-hour brow setup. The makeup artist used it on me. And if the makeup artist used it on me and I like it, like I'll go back straight away because I know that they have used it on multiple people and it's worked all day. Like They just know what they're doing. I also, like, plucked a lot of my brow off yesterday. I don't know if you, can, you can't tell the difference. They're still so thick, but I just, like, made them a bit thinner at the front. You literally can't tell. They still look like slugs. Um, but I like how they look. That's pretty much all I'm going to do in the brows. Later, I might go through with some brow pen. Actually, I might do that now. I'm just going to fill in the ends. I still don't know what vibe of makeup I want to go for, so I think I'm just going to go for it. Oh my god, my brows are at the literally center of the egg. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Just like put on my moisturizers now, on now, so they have like time to sink in. But yes, I'm putting on sunscreen, even though I'm going to be sitting inside at a dinner. But I literally put it on. Oh, I should not be wearing these pants. Um, but I just love how my makeup looks with the sunscreen on. That just went straight through my brow because usually I don't do my brows before sunscreen. Um, but I like my concealers really light. Um, if my eyelid is like orange and it's like separating like under the brow, I will vomit. And also under my eyes, I like really bright and dry under my eyes. Um, just personally, I will go like almost the lightest shade, which I know I shouldn't, but I just like a really bright under eye. I feel like it just like sleeks everything i don't know but this this concealer is really good i really want to try the closest one just because i know like so many people love it do you see how clumpy my eyelashes look because i put that those drops in um they go all crusty but i'm just gonna conceal and then i think for eyeshadow i'm just gonna do something really simple i think i am gonna do my glam look just because like why not like i want to i want to feel glam so i'm just gonna set that concealer with laura mercier i don't know how people put on concealer on their eyelids and then don't set it before putting eyeshadow on that like i can't sleep if i think about that that's so fucked up also i'm pretty sure my sister pulled a sneaky on me and i'm pretty sure when she was at my house she swapped out laura mercier powders because all of a sudden mine's empty and it was no way near empty when, before she came so i think she either accidentally swapped them or is a mastermind and took mine 
Anyway, I'm gonna do a pretty, just pretty much the look I do every time. If, even if I want a super glam look, I will do this. And if I want a chill look, I will do this. So it's pretty much universal, but it's just like brown tones that complement my eye. And I'm always, if I have any eyeshadow on my eye, I'm always using the Makeup by Mario palette. It's just so good. That's pretty much like all I do with my eyes. And then later on, I'll wing it, and then later on, I'll add white on the inner corner. I might actually do that now. I just take like a really white shade. And I put that there. Gosh, the more open my eye looks. It's insane. It's literally a life hack. Oh, I love it. Slay. And then, oh, I need to stop hunching. It's really bad for me. I'm going to put some of this Walita skin food on. This is supposed to be a moisturizer now. I didn't know this. I thought it was literally like a putty primer. But it's actually a moisturizer. Would I ever put this on just when I'm moisturizing and not putting makeup on? Absolutely not. It is like the thickest, puttiest, disgusting feeling product. But it's like my favorite product ever because it feels so good on my skin once it's rubbed in. I hate the process of rubbing it in, but once it's rubbed in, kind of, I really like the smell too. And it makes my makeup last like so freaking long. The makeup artist used it for me and she was like, you need to go get it. It's so cheap. It was literally like, ten dollars and i will never not use it oh that was a lot but yeah it's you need it you can get it from like priceline i think or like how's warehouse i don't know but it's really good i really don't want to get it in my hair though because it's very thick but it just makes my skin like so hydrated feels really gross but i don't know whether to do sunscreen or moisturizer first i never know someone told me once and i forgot which order it was so if you know please let me know but i'm gonna go in with my Dude, literally sit up straight. Um, I'm gonna go on with my flawless filter, as always. If I want a supernatural look, I will just use this. I can't bother to get up and wear this. I'm just gonna spray it. I'm just gonna be lazy, even though later I'm gonna get up and wet it because I can't do my concealer with a dry sponge. Anyway, I love this stuff. I don't know how I ever lived without it. I never really understood it when TikTok, that was first like TikTok hype. Like I was like, I don't get it. It's not a foundation, it's not a primer. So what is it? But I would call it a, um, I would call it a, some people use it as highlighter. Some people literally just put it on their high points, which I could not do. I like it all over my face, but um, I would just call it like a really light coverage foundation almost. Like I could just do that. But I kind of want a bit more. Use this foundation because I'm loving it. It's a light reflecting foundation by NARS, the new one. It is so freaking good. Like genuinely so good. You do need quite a lot of it though. It's not very like, it doesn't really spread very far. And I'm actually gonna use a brush to just press it in. It's a bit orange. My tan didn't really go that dark this time. So it's actually quite light on my neck. Um, whereas my tan last week was super dark, so I'm just gonna have to make it work. But with concealer and bronzer and powder, it should all come together. And it's like the only foundation that I feel like hasn't dried me out. I feel like even the Beautiful Skin by Charlotte Tilbury kind of dries me out, but I've got like the world's driest skin. So don't take my word for that. Obviously everyone has different skin, but if you have extremely dry skin, I wouldn't recommend the, Ooh, I would recommend this foundation. Okay, I need to stop using the phone. I'm just gonna let that soak. And then I am gonna wash this. I'm gonna not be lazy. Um, this is the best bronzer ever. Um, I really wanna get Invisalign um, or braces or whatever, just whatever was really the quickest. But this is the thing, right? My mum offered for me to get them when I was younger. Why didn't I listen? I don't know. Um, I was like, just, I literally didn't get them because of the pain. And now I'm getting them either Invisalign or braces. But the thing is, I've talked about it before. I've got really bad lockjaw, like really bad lockjaw. And like sometimes it hasn't been too bad recently, actually, surprisingly. But sometimes you'll literally be like, where I can open like this and that's it. And I literally physically, like sometimes I can massage it and it opens, but recently, it's been getting to the point where it just won't even open when I massage it and I have to like force food in the gap if I'm eating. But, um, ooh, why is that going a bit patchy? Um, 
yeah, so I have to get my jaw fixed first. Like, he's like, I won't do a visual line until you get your jaw fixed. And I'm like, okay, fine. But I have to get this, like, CT scan to see if the disc has fallen off the, off the socket. Because that's what they think, that's what they think has happened. But I have to get a CT scan with this, like, special machine that nowhere has. And there was a place at home that had it. And I, I was booked in to get this stupid scan. And of course, the day that I was booked, they like, they called me and they're like, oh, our machine's broken. And it's like a super hard machine. So now I have to find somewhere to go to get this stupid scan. Basically, what I'm saying is, first of all, problems, I know. But basically, what I'm saying is, I just want Invisalign and I just want to start the process now because I know it's a long process. And I'm like, I know this is going to take forever. So I just want to start like as soon as possible. And I just want to get this freaking scan. So I just need to find somewhere that has it and book. And then I don't know whether I'm going to need jaw. They said you either need jaw surgery or we can try and like slowly over time fix it with physio but i'm like babe how long is physio gonna take because i want invisalign like now i'm just impatient and i just should have should have got it when i was younger or like braces or whatever and i didn't so whose fault is this basically mine because i could have just had perfect teeth already i just can't even picture myself with good teeth like i just not even that'd be like it would be so freaking weird but I'm going to like, I went to my doc, my dentist, who's really good, like he's really good. And he was like, your teeth are so fucked that I can't even do it. Like you have to go to a specialist. And I was like, well, you're already so good. So that scares me that he can't do it because he's really good. So he's sending me to like this specialist guy who hopefully he's like, he's like the best of the best. So hopefully he said he can do it with just Invisalign because I preferably don't want braces just because of like my job. Like I'd rather just kind of had it have Invisalign which is more like hidden and more subtle um he said he can do it without braces thank god he was like I'm just gonna have to pull a few teeth out because I've got so much overcrowding like I just have so like I have, I have three middle teeth which you've probably noticed by now but like it's just an insecurity of mine but I see other people with crooked teeth and I'm like you're just, like beautiful so it's not an insecurity everyone should have it's just a personal one but also it's like a problem too like it's not even for just the looks like he said that might be contributing to your jaw problems the overcrowding so hopefully it'll help me like physically as well not just like insecurity wise um so we'll see that was so random but i just like really want to get this ct done because i'm like i want to get his line asap oh, i fucked up i really wanted to try so when i do my makeup i do cream bronzer and then cream blush and then concealer and then i set but I've been seeing everyone do, like, not even as a hack, just their normal routines. They do concealer first before blush, like, contour, concealer, blush. And it feel like it looks so much more flawless. Maybe I'll just add a bit more blush after I do my concealer. Maybe we'll do that. But I'm going to conceal. I have been mixing two concealers. I've been doing um, the Charlotte Tilbury under my eyes and then also the Lancome. Yeah. Oh, no, no, Dior using Dior. I don't know why, I just like to add a bit of Dior. Don't know, I just do. It's just like really nice feeling on my face. And then I'm gonna, am I actually, no, I'll just blend it. Stop being fussy. Just love these concealers together, they're so pretty. I'm gonna really like carve my nose out with that concealer. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my powder puff. Yeah, I've been using a powder puff to set my concealer, what of it? I'm gonna set literally only directly under my eye. I don't set anywhere else with powder like this, like like um Laura Messier. Maybe a bit on my there. Because I like a really hydrated look and then i'm gonna really let that dry because i'm about to go on with powder and if i put powder on a wet face it's not a good combo so i'm gonna go in with powder charlotte tilbury blush oh i might actually do my under eye shadow while we're waiting for that to dry gonna use that same palette by when you open and is using a really tapered brush under your eye this one's from mecca it's elite 
and then getting like a brownie shade and just like dragging it up. Even just close your eye and wing it up. Perfect. Going with very lightly tapping on my face. That actually really hurt. Um, powder bronzer. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury and I quite like it. Except like it's literally humongous. I'm gonna carve that jaw. And I'm basically just gonna set. I don't know why I'm saying it like this, like it's a tutorial. Like my makeup isn't even good. I'm not even a fucking makeup artist. Like shut up. Okay, skin, and then I'm gonna go in with Fatty on the Block by Kylie. I actually like. I think I scratched my eye or something with with my eyelash. This is such a pretty blush. Uh, really pops with my eyes. I quite like it. I use Freck. I don't know if I love or hate it. My makeup artist used, me on, used it on me, but I feel like it's something you have to know how to use. Um, and if you don't, then like it's quite scary. But basically you dot a dot and then you like tuck it out. See, I think it's quite good, but it's quite orange and I like more brown freckles, which my freckles are more brown. So it looks kind of more natural. It really stresses me out. I'm going to fix it by the way. I don't know how I feel. Like they're too like obvious. Okay, whatever. Okay. Now I have to do highlighter and lippies, lippy doodahs. That's pretty. Still got this really bad headache. But I want a really good brush to um onto my nose and I wanna fuck around. Oh my God. She's snatched. I don't really like it. It's giving me like a year ago. So I'm gonna blend it out. Still defined, but less like, <laughs> less cold play. <laughs> Maybe we'll use pillow talk. I do really like pillow talk. It is good. It's just, I feel like it's just a little bit too pink. That's better. That is perfect. That is the perfect lip shade. Oak and Pillow Talk mix. One final one. I am ready. Let me just show you the final look. Hype me up. Hype me up. <laughs> no, but seriously, hype me up because I need it. No, I'm kidding. Um. This is the final look. For some reason, my hairband kinked. Can you see right there? Oh, I've kind of gotten it out, but just the hair, it's like very slick. Like usually I just get them to blow dry it straight because I get it done every week. Just because if I style it once a week, it's like just lasts the whole week. I don't have to worry about it. Um, and I was like sleek the fuck out of it. And usually I just blow dry it straight, but he like straightened it to the gods. So I don't know, I feel like it looks sexy though. It looks cute. This is a fit, top is IMG, our pants are RQ, the label, a little like small business and they're really flattering and really cute. So we love that. I think I'm gonna either do like a fun heel or just like a black and white, black or white. And then I think I might do like, well, I might do my saddle bag because it's really pretty. It's like DC, but then these are silver and the bag's gold. We'll figure it out. I need to brush my teeth, douse myself in cologne. Um, yeah, I was about to leave and then I forgot I didn't have my car keys and forgot I didn't show you the final look. It's the final look. I'm gonna actually gonna freeze. Should be fine. But I can't find my purse. I can't find my bag. Cause I'm taking this bag, but I need to find my bag from today to put all my like keys and stuff in. Oh, I think it's here. Okay. I love you. Have the best night. Thanks for watching. Mwah.